Hello folks, just going to talk about the storm threat for next week. Again, the trend seems to be uh, to bring the storm further north right now. That's what the trend seems to be. So, there's your disturbance. This is the European model coming into the Pacific Northwest. This is going to dig the truffle a little to the south and east, but not too much. And then you have your northern disturbance up here that's going to come in phase with it. So there it goes, it moves a little bit to the south and east. Then you have another disturbance coming in from the north, and that's going to move south. So then the next run, they're combined already. The European brings this piece of energy down. It brings the eastern piece, the eastern piece of this. It comes out here and it combines with this northern piece of energy up here, but the western part of this is going to stay to the west. So that's the difference. So see that? The western part is over here. It moves a portion of that to the east and combines it with the northern disturbance coming down. And this just doesn't dig far enough south for it to come up along the coast. So this storm is going to stay on land. Okay? So then if you move to the next frame, when those two pieces of energy phase, it's a lot stronger. It strengthens up. And uh, it really amplifies. It's going to be taking Gulf moisture and Atlantic moisture at the same time. So you're going to have a lot of precipitation, a lot of liquid associated with this. <clears throat> and uh, when you have the Arctic air mass moving in probably farther to the north, that's going to create a lot of lift because you're going to have a big temperature contrast. So you're going to have a lot of uh, precipitation going up, up into the atmosphere, condensing and then forming heavy snow for areas pretty much north of uh, New York City and Long Island, central Pennsylvania, north of I-80. Alright, um, and again, I just want to point out, look at how much, this is your low pressure here, it's not strong yet, but then these two pieces of energy come closer together, look how much the European amplifies this. So you went from that, sorry, that, to that. Look at that, that's really strong. And it's uh, it kind of goes like that so it comes pretty much over or just south of Long Island the, the, the area of low pressure but that's below 980 millibars um, and that's a very strong disturbance here look at how strong it is and then it's just gonna kinda swing northeast out of the area okay oops that's too far it's gonna swing northeast so this is what it was over here now the difference between the European and the American and it's not a big one excuse me, is these two pieces of energy that the European combines over here, the American model combines them further east. So the American model has it, the storm strengthening more offshore. Now, it's still strengthened strong enough to bring a very heavy snowstorm, but it's um, it's very minute difference. Like, it strengthens just a little further east than the European has. It amplifies just a little bit less, so let's take a look at that. <clears throat> There's your disturbance moving in the Pacific Northwest. It's going to move due east, maybe a little bit to the south and east. And like the European, the eastern part of this is going to come east and combine with the northern disturbance. So there it is. It keeps this portion over the southwest like the European does. Brings a portion of it to the east. The northern disturbance comes down. They're going to combine. They're going to phase. They're not completely together yet, but it's, yep, now they're together, and look, it strengthens, and it doesn't come as far south as the European is projecting it well. And there it goes. You're going to be taking in a lot of moisture from the Atlantic and some from the Gulf. So just a, this is a very, very heavy precipitation storm. I can tell you that right now. No matter what type of precipitation you get, it's, gonna, it's not going to be light. It's probably going to be at least moderate and most likely heavy. Okay, now the problem is look at where this high pressure is. It's all the way out to the west. So instead of the high pressure being on top of the storm, it's on the left side of the storm. So that means your Arctic air is going to be moving in behind it. Now areas to the north, central New York, Connecticut, on northward, you're still going to have cold enough temperatures to pretty much be all snow. But south of there... You're going to start out as rain, and you might stay rain for a longer time than you're going to be snow. 
All right, and the European shows this too. Like it has the high pressure on top of the storm for a pier, but then moves it west because this storm is really strong. So it's kind of overtaking the Arctic air mass. So this is the opposite of what last week's storm was. Okay. So, again, that's that. And your jet streams don't phase far enough south. That's another thing. The northern branch of the jet stream comes down and it phases all the way down. It, it phases all the way down here. It doesn't phase far enough south for the trough to dig further south and then come up the coast. That's the thing. The jet stream is not going to be far enough south. Because before that, before you get the Arctic air coming in, see if I can get this. You're going to have a surge of warmth coming up the coast here, coming through this entire area. So you're going to have temperatures in the 40s, in the 50s, in the 60s down here. 40s are probably going to extend all the way up here, so it's going to be nice and warm. So you're going to start out as rain in those areas. Alright, so again, the trend is to bring this right over Long Island or just to the south and east. And I think that's going to keep Arctic air from working into this area until after the storm is all the way up here. Then the, then the cold air starts to move in. And then areas there would get snow on the back side, but probably not too much of an accumulation because the heaviest precipitation is probably going to be during Wednesday evening when it will mostly be rain. However, I am a little skeptical because I'm going to show you something else here. All right, this is your AMS temp. So, um, here you go. So this is on... This is Tuesday evening. You can see... Oh, I'm sorry, hold on. Tuesday evening. You pretty much have warm air extending all the way up the coast here. The lighter blue is above freezing. So Long Island, New York City, you're above freezing right now. And now you go into Wednesday evening, or Wednesday during the day. Let's take a look at Wednesday during the day. You're still above freezing. That's a little colder than before, though. Hmm. Still, this will be around, probably in the upper 30s, in the light, lighter blue, and then 40s down here. Okay, so that's the trend we're seeing here, but still not cold enough for snow. Areas north of the lighter blue, you're probably going to be all snow, or a wintry mix going to all snow. So this entire area here, above central and southern New York, well, above southern New York, above central Pennsylvania, you'll be all snow, most likely. Then you head into Wednesday evening, and again, the low comes up the coast, and look, it's ushering in warm air along the eastern sections here. So you're going to be all rain Wednesday evening. So that's the trend there. You're going to get all rain here. You're going to be all snow to the western side. And then, this is Thursday morning, so watch. You go from that to that. Look how quickly the Arctic air rushes in behind the storm. That's really quick. So then, you would be all snow here, but the low is probably going to be moving out. So, this is why I'm skeptical of accumulations for places south of I-80, like Long Island, New York City, um, central New Jersey, northern New Jersey. I'm very skeptical on what type of accumulation you're going to get, because if this Arctic air rushes in quick enough behind it, you still might get some heavy snow on the backside. So that could accumulate, you know, maybe even up to several inches. But again, I'm not really sure about that yet. All right, but again, look how quickly it comes in, like just right behind it. So I think the changeover to snow is probably going to happen before midnight or around midnight. And I think, again, areas south of I-80, you might get a period... I don't know, five to six hours of moderate to heavy snow. Again, it would be heavier at first. And uh, that might change. Um, I'm sorry, that might accumulate somewhat. So something to watch. So that's a little bit of uncertainty there. The European brings us a little further south, not too much. So that might give a little more room for Arctic air. But again, it's going to be mainly a rain event for all of Wednesday during the day. Most of Wednesday evening and then late Wednesday night changing over to snow south of I-80, Long Island, New York City. North of there, you're snow the entire time pretty much. So those areas are going to have to watch out for a decent snowstorm. You're going to get a lot of snow. Could get over a foot. 
I think people might even get up, some people might even get up to two feet in uh, Maine because this as this intensifies, what's going to happen is this is going to move. It's going to move here, and then as I showed you, as the two um, disturbances come together and it comes along the boundary between warm and cold air, it's going to really start to intensify. It's going to be taking in moisture, so you're going to get higher snow amounts as you go further north and east. So with that in mind. This is the snowfall map I came up with. So, again, you have your 6 to 12 up here. I have a feeling I'm going to need to draw 12 to 18 in here. Probably, I'll draw it with the yellow. Probably in here. I think, I think, my 12, I, think I might have to add a 12 to 18 line in here eventually. But right now I'm going to keep it 6 to 12 because we're a little unsure. But if I had to pick out an area that would get 12 to 18 inches, it would be this entire area here. And maybe even extending back into here, but it depends on how quickly the storm intensifies. But for right now, we're going to go with around a foot in the yellow area. Um, again, I might extend this a little further south down into here. But this is your 6 to 12. So it starts in uh, central Massachusetts. It heads east over northern Connecticut, then into central New York here. And you can kind of see the state line. That's New York um, into central New York and then extending back northward through there. Uh, New Hampshire and Vermont, you're in the 6 to 12. Maine, you're in the 6 to 12. So watch out there. And again, we might need to add a 12 to 18 area in here. So uh, keep an eye out because this storm is going to be intensifying as it comes over over this area here. So it's going to be really strong when it's over here. So you're gonna, and it's going to be absorbing moisture. You're going to get really heavy snow up here. And if it stays all snow, you definitely might get over a foot. And maybe even up to a foot and a half. But again, a little too early to tell. Your three to six line is going to be down here. It's going to extend from northern Connecticut into central Connecticut. Um, and the reason this becomes so narrow here is because as the storm tracks up here, you're going to, get, you're going to start out as rain in most of this area here. And then on the back side, you'll get some snow. All right. But I think southern Connecticut, southeastern Massachusetts, um, I think areas south of Yonkers in New York, um, again, uh, maybe south of northern New Jersey, and then south of uh, central Pennsylvania, so south of I-80, and uh, south of I-95 even, you're, you're going to get probably less than three inches of snow. So I have a one to three line extending here across uh, southern Connecticut, um, southern New York, and then into central Pennsylvania. Um, again, this whole area is going to start out as rain and then change to snow later Wednesday night, so something to watch, because if that heavy precipitation really uh, comes in, you could get several inches, but I think you're going to get enough of a period of snow where you get one to three. But again, this actually might even need to be shifted further north if the northward trend continues. So down here, coding to an inch, in southern New Jersey, you might not even get that because you might stay all rain. So that is your forecast update for today. I'll have another update tomorrow. Thank you for watching.